Alright, this is not a speed art video or a short tutorial, this is a full lens class of advanced photo manipulation. After finishing this class, you will learn how to create this advertising visual by yourself step by step. Starting from the idea itself, discussing the references I used to create this visual, and then creating the main composition. Next, we will learn how to match the color of each element and how to draw light and shadow precisely. The next step, we will learn how to spice everything up by the glow effects and reflection and finally we will go to the typography part and then we will finalize everything by the final color grading i'm so excited to start with you guys so let the fun begin all right guys let's jump straight into photoshop but first you will find all the stock images used in the description and i encourage you to follow up with me step by step so that you get the best use of this tutorial let's go all right guys i'm very excited to start with you so let's start creating this amazing visual firstly i wanted to start with illustrating or explaining the idea behind this visual i wanted to create a visual that represents that this beautiful m4 car is powerful and can stick to the road in high speed so my initial idea was that i wanted to create an exaggeration of the idea by creating a visual like this so i wanted the road to be like vertical and despite of this very hard circumstances the car will handle it efficiently so this was the main idea but i didn't like how it looked visually so i started to think how can we demonstrate this idea but with less severity so i thought that we can make it a little bit tilted like this and here is the final idea so that was the initial idea and the mood of the design i wanted to use this reference in the color and the moods i love this beautiful contrasty teal and orange look the teal color in the shadows and in the highlights the orange color here is another example and here is another one so this was my inspiration for creating the colors of the visual so without wasting any more time let's dig into business quick pause if you are interested in creating amazing visuals like this using photoshop i have created full lens classes explaining the whole process behind creating these visuals you will find the courses link into the description along with the stock images and the psd file now let's get back to our tutorial firstly i will create a new file by pressing file new and let's create 19 20 by 1080 b canvas and press create all right here are the all images that i will use in this visual you can download them from the description and i will start with the root image let's drag it and put it into the photoshop here into our project file and now let's use the selection tool to just cut the root part let's select it and then press ctrl j now let's erase the uh, original one okay now let's distort the root a little bit because i want it to look like it's deeper than what it looks now so i will right click and press distort and press alt and shift and just drag this point this will flatten the root more like so very cool now let's make it a lot bigger let's stretch it rotate it to make an angle like so make it bigger very good next we will put the buildings into the background so let's drag this image and open it into a new project because i wanted to select the buildings and still keep these parts selected so i will use the channels which i think is the best way to cut it from the background we will go to the channels and then we will toggle between the channels to see which channel has a better contrast with the background so here i guess the red channel has the best contrast the buildings are more dark and the background can be easily turned into white but the blue one as you can see has uh, has not such contrast the green one also maybe but the red one has the best contrast so i'm going to duplicate this channel by 
pressing right click into the channel and then duplicate channel and then press OK. And let's hide this one. Let's hide the original one and let's work into the copy one. All right. So I will try to make the best contrast in this channel. I will do this by uh, the levels. So I will just press Ctrl L and then try to make the best contrast between the background and the buildings. So here what we're, go what we're trying to do is to make the background white, totally white and the buildings totally black. So I'm just uh, playing with the level sliders until I guess I get the best separation or contrast of the building to the background and we don't want also to lose details in this part so I think we will uh, move this slider and then press OK. Now let's start trying to separate this part we will do this by uh, any brush I prefer this square brush and let's start to paint with white in these sections we will also use the overlay blending mode of the brush from here and let's choose overlay and let's try to paint. I used overlay mode because it will just push the grays into blacks or whites depending on how far it is to the near color. So if it is gray color near to white then it will turn it into white by painting with white of course. And if it is gray near to black, then it will just leave it as is. So I will just try to separate this section. Now we can paint into these clouds and we will also uh, do the same, but with the black color like that here, and these sections also and here. Very cool these sections also this is the most important part the intersection between the sky and the buildings very cool now let's change the blending mode of the brush into normal and let's paint in this section with white and we will do the same thing but with black into the building section I know this is kind of tricky but is uh, the results will pay it off this is the best way you can use to select such things without losing any details. So I will just paint here. That's why I prefer this square brush because I can paint into buildings easily as you can see here. And if you wonder from where did I got this square brush, you can find brushes like this in brusheasy.com. All right, I will speed up this, the process of this section. I will just paint with black like this. So I will speed up this part and get back to you. All right, very cool. Now we have the buildings selected. So let's press control and press into the channel. And now we have the buildings selected. So let's just get rid of this channel we don't need it anymore and let's go to the layers panel and press into the mask icon to extract it and press ctrl i to invert the mask very cool as you can see here the selection is very detailed maybe we can uh, get some parts here back by just drawing into this section so let's convert this layer into smart object because we don't want to lose details and quality and let's drag it and put it into the, our main project. All right, so let's now rotate the buildings a little bit to be at the same rotation of the road, like so. The reason why I choose this image of buildings because I want to make some depth into our uh, visual so I choose near buildings and I will then uh, choose another image this image for the far building this image so I will just drag this image and put it into our project and put it into the background let's rotate it a little bit to be at the same rotation and then let's put it 
down and let's try to choose a, a good place i think we can blend the two images into this building at the right so let's just move this a little bit and i think that's good this is a good a very good intersection between the two buildings maybe we can make it a little bit bigger like so and now we're good to go after correcting the light and the colors they will match together without any more effort all right let's move it down a little bit control and let's move it down a little bit let's put it here very cool now let's drag our main sun here i love this uh, sunset sun so let's drag it and put it right here rotate it make the sun bigger because it's a main focal point of our design like so i loved this uh scene of the sunset so that's why i've chosen it like so i want uh, the horizon line of the sun section to be like it's perpendicular to the road very good and let's create a mask and let with a soft rounded brush i will just erase the bottom parts like so very cool i wanted the intersection between the buildings and the sun to be like this this is very cool okay and let's now change this clouds part because i don't like it the highlights are extreme and it doesn't look right for me so i decided to change it with this sky i i loved how the horizon line looks and it's also a sunset scene so let's put it right here now let's make it a little bit smaller and we're good to go let's put it right here and let's put it behind everything and with the mask we will erase this part very good softly and gently now it's time to work on the car image let's open it into a new project now before putting the car into the main visual it needs some work we need to get rid of all these harsh reflections in the main image as you can see here the sun is behind our car so it doesn't make sense that the car has all these harsh reflections so we will get rid of these reflections by the clone stamp tool I will just choose a soft rounded brush and let's pick a source from this sharp line and I will just paint over these harsh reflections like so. But be careful because uh, we don't want to uh, distract it. And let's pick source from here and let's draw like this. Also this harsh reflections the same way pick a source and paint into this intersection very cool maybe this part also pay attention to details because it will pay off at the end maybe this part also very cool now it's time to get rid of the reflections of the glass. I will do this by a different way. I will just select it by the pen tool, like so. Uh, after selecting it with the pen tool, right click, make selection, press OK. And then let's duplicate this part by pressing Ctrl J. And now we have this uh, section into a new layer. And now let's press Ctrl and press into our layer and let's go to the filter and blur and gaussian blur by this way we will blur these parts and the sharp reflections will not be shown and of course it will not be like this we will darken this section by pressing ctrl m to create curves because we want uh, the car to have dark glass and very that's looking very cool now let's make this a little bit bigger i think because there is a sharp edge here very good we'll do the same thing into the other glass it's the same way by the pen tool let's speed up this 
the process of this section. All right, now the car is ready to be selected and to uh, be put into the main visual. So I will select the car by the pen tool. I will speed up this the process, assuming that you know everything about the pen tool, of course, uh, because this is an advanced class. Uh, so uh, here I'm just selecting the car from the background, nothing else. Very cool. Now the car is selected, so let's press right click and make selection and press OK and then let's create a mask. And now we have the car selected. Now after selecting the car, we want to extract the shadow of the main image before getting back into the main project. So I will just duplicate this image. Let's create a solid color first to see everything. Let's put it into the bottom and then let's duplicate this layer pressing Ctrl J and now let's get rid of this mask. Okay, what we need now is to extract this shadow to use it into our main visual uh, because this is the most precise shadow you can get. So I'll do this by desaturating the main image by pressing Ctrl U and let's change the blending mode of the layer into multiply to only preserve the the dark pixels and then we will do the same technique we did into selecting with the channels press ctrl L to use the levels like so because I want to extract the sh only the shadow so I will just play with the sliders until getting only the shadow and there is still some traces here and there so I will get rid of these black dots uh, by uh, a brush with overlay mode it's change the blending mode of the brush into overlay and let's paint here and there very cool with overlay mode you will just get rid of these dark uh, small dots like so very good and here also now it's time to uh, use the black to preserve the blacks in this part here also and here very good very good, now let's uh, create a mask and let's just select this part of the shadow. That's all what we need from this layer. Okay, let's press Ctrl Shift I to invert the mask. And now let's uh, press Ctrl Backspace. And now we have the shadow in a separate layer and the core into a separate layer and it's ready to be used into our main visual. So firstly we will put everything related to the core into a smart object, select them and right click convert to smart object and the shadow let's convert it into a smart object. Right click convert to smart object and it still has a multiply mode. Very good now let's put them into a group, press Ctrl G and let's name it core. We want to be organized here. <laughs> now let's drag all this group and put it into our main project. Very cool. Put it into the top and press Ctrl T and let's just rotate the core to match the same direction of the road. Very cool. Now we have everything in possession. So what we're going to do next is to correct the colors and then add the glows and everything you like. But firstly, I think we need to create some motion blur into the car and into the road because uh, it bothers me how it is how the road is pixelated. So let's start by creating a motion blur into the road. So I will just uh, right click into the root and convert it to, into smart object and then get to the filters blur and motion blur. Now we want to choose a specific angle that will be the same angle of the root. So here let's try to match the same angle of the root with the same angle of this motion blur like so. I think a number between 23 I think maybe 23 yeah that's very cool now let's press ok and now let's go to the wheel or the tire of the car it needs to have something called spin blur we will uh, do this 
by pressing into the core layer and go to filter and blur gallery and let's go to the spin blur this spin blur will just give it a motion effect will give the wheels a motion effect so I will make it smaller to only affect the tire and let's uh, make sure that the pinpoint into the center of the tire and that's very cool now as you can see here it's uh, the tires looks like the car is moving fast uh, so uh, it gives us this motion effect now let's put another one here to the, fr the front wheel and I will just keep the velocity as it is so now let's make it smaller like this drag and drop until you reach the full tire very cool now let's press ok and as you can see here it gives the car a motion now it's time to correct the colors we will start by the reference having a look at the reference as you can see here i want to put the teal color or the cyanish greenish color into the darks like so and the orange tones into the highlights so i will start with the foreground buildings this one and uh, let's create a new group because we want to be organized here before everything is gone messy so i will just create a group and name it building and i will correct the colors by selective color this is a very good adjustment layer to correct colors precisely so let's analyze what we can see here the buildings colors have a lot of red a lot of magenta and some blue tones so we want to change these colors into a more cyanish colors so firstly i will create a clipping mask by pressing alt and press between the two layers and let's just choose this section to be our main reference for correcting the colors so here we want this section to be the same colors as this building so let's start with going to the magentas and let's try to match the colors i will just add cyans like so and decrease the magentas which will increase the greens and maybe we will decrease the yellows what i like into this selective color is that it has this darkening slider so i can make a specific color darker or lighter now let's go to the neutrals changing the neutrals here will change the midtones as you can see here so i will just add some cyans like so i'm trying here to match these two layers i think maybe we can also decrease the uh, lightness like so now we are closer to the building maybe we can decrease this and maybe add a little bit of magenta plus two be careful in using uh, selective color but because it can be tricky and it needs a lot of eyeballing so be careful in matching colors very cool now let's see i think we have a good job here but the main image has a lot of uh, blue tones as you can see here we did a, a good job but we still have uh, a lot of blue tones i think so let's go back into the zoom mode and let's go to the blacks maybe uh, add uh, a little bit of cyan like so into the blacks as you can see here we are targeting only the blacks the dark sections we'll add cyan maybe a little bit of magenta maybe a plus one and a little bit of yellow very cool now let's go let's get back we are closer but we still have this blue tones so we will get rid of this plate tunes or we will neutralize it by also the selective color so i will just press into the blues and let's neutralize it by decreasing the blues and increasing the yellows here 
as you can see here when I increase the yellows I will at the same time decrease the blues like so let's zoom in a little bit let's decrease the blues very cool now we can also add some cyanish tone and we can also add some green here as you can see here when we decrease the magenta we will increase the green very nice i think now it's good i think we are in a good point right here all right now it's time to correct the sky colors the sun and the clouds part so let's create a new group and let's name it sky and let's put everything inside this group very cool now let's choose a selective color from here and let's go to the uh, neutrals and let's increase the cyan's into this clouds part here and maybe we can decrease the magentas and maybe we can add a little bit of yellow like so very cool maybe we can make it a little bit darker from here that's what i like in the selective color because it has this darkening or brightening slider okay uh, we need to create a clipping mask because it affected everything else so i will press alt and press between the two layers and now it's time to uh, create the same thing correct the colors of this sun part i will create a selective color and let's choose the neutrals and add some cyans and some greens maybe it needs a lot of eyeballing actually <laughs> because you need to match colors carefully here very cool maybe decrease it no i think we will increase the yellows yeah maybe plus one very good but i think here we need to erase i don't like how this part looks so let's erase it some parts from here very good now it's time to correct the colors of the four building let's create a new group and put it inside let's name it building number one and let's and this time we will uh, use color balance create a clipping mask and in the midtones i will try to add some cyans add some yellows let's zoom in a little bit here is the before and after okay uh, maybe in the shadows also we'll add some cyans a little bit of yellow and we are good to go i think here is before and here is after everything is matched in a better way now it's time to work on the car and the road uh, part so i will just select this road part and let's put it into a group and let's darken it a little bit by curves layer so because it looks very bright so i will darken the highlights like this create a clipping mask and very cool like so very cool now let's correct the colors by the color balance add some cyans add a little bit of magenta and maybe some blue and at the shadows we will add also some cyans be careful uh, using color balance because you can easily oversaturate what you are uh, correcting so i think we are in a good point here maybe we need to darken some parts into the road so i will do this by curves another curves layer from adjustment curves darken everything and i will darken this right part of the road because it's it looks very bright like so maybe here also very cool now it's time to work into the car itself so when you look at the car at the first time you will notice that it needs to be darkened because it is very light and the colors need to be a little bit shifted into orange to match our color palette which is orange and teal so we will start firstly by creating a hue saturation layer and let's make a clipping mask we will do this by pressing into this finger button 
and choose these yellows and uh, let's shift the colors into more saturated orange color and let's make it darker like so very cool now it's time to darken this section because it will not have so much light the sun is behind it so this section needs to be darkened this needs to be dark we will do this by creating a curves adjustment layer and let's darken it a little bit make it a little bit contrasty like so and i think this is good and let's create a clipping mask press ctrl i to invert the mask and with the soft rounded brush i will just paint like this simple as that very cool maybe you can erase these parts because it should be a little bit uh, bright because of the sun color uh, or the sunlight <laughs> and we are good to go now it's time to work on the shadows because the shadow here looks very dark and black uh, so it needs to have slight teal color by pressing ctrl u and just pressing to colorize and let's increase the saturation and let's make it a little bit bright like so and let's choose this teal color maybe okay it can be more saturated and now we, we are good to go let's see before and after here is before and here is after as you can see here it has some teal color into it very good now it's time to add atmosphere effect this will give our our visual more depth because the farther you go the more atmosphere effect it will be this is called atmospheric perspective i will do this by dragging this foggy layer overlay and let's make it bigger and let's change the blending mode into screen and let's put it here to see the colors and let's press ctrl u to change its color press colorize and let's choose this teal color maybe a little bit saturated and press ok change the saturation change the color and then press ok very good now let's put it behind the front buildings and let's make it bigger like so and then press ok very cool needs to be rotated press ctrl t and then let's rotate it like this very cool i think like so and maybe we can decrease the opacity and let's choose a good place <laughs> for it to be put very good now let's duplicate this layer and put it into this part here press alt and drag the this layer and put it above everything here and let's make it a little bit bigger like this and maybe we can increase the, uh, the opacity like so very cool okay maybe we can erase some parts with using the mask with and the brush like so very good i want to if the effect to be like it's subtle now we can do this the same atmospheric effect by solid color and choose this teal color press ok and change the blending mode into screen and let's decrease the opacity like so and press ctrl i to invert the mask and now let's add some atmosphere effect here by any fog brush you can find a lot of fog brushes into brush easy i guess so let's just uh, draw some hazing effect behind the car to separate the car from the background make it let's make it bigger and very good i think we need to decrease the saturation of this color and then press ok here is before and here is after now it's time to create the glow effect we will do this by creating a solid color adjustment layer and let's choose a, an orange saturated color and then press ok and change the blending mode into screen press ctrl i to invert the mask and with a fog brush we can draw like this maybe we can increase 
the hue or change the hue to be more saturated reddish orange color and let's paint with this fog brush into these orange lights this creates this glow effect around the light source as you can see and it looks artistic and very good we can draw it here and there try, try to keep it subtle I'm now here exaggerating into the effect because I want it to appear into your screens uh, but try when you are trying it your own try to be subtle here and there very cool now I think the car needs some highlights that is coming from the Sun of course so let's go to the car layer and let's from the adjustment let's create a curves adjustment layer and let's make it brighter like so very cool and we can also add some color let's create a clipping mask first we can also add some color with shifting the channels I will just increase the red and decrease the magenta which will increase the green and maybe we can add some blues like so so here we are creating highlights with some tone yellowish orangey tone into it and then let's press ctrl i to invert the mask and then let's draw with a soft rounded brush i will draw the light effect maybe you can change this uh, the size of the brush like this and let's draw some lights i think it's very bright so we'll decrease the opacity later but now let's care about just drawing some highlights here like so very good now let's get back to our channel let's decrease the intensity of the light it's very bright and i guess this is kind of cool maybe we can decrease the yellows a little bit and now it's better here is before and here is after maybe we can uh, erase some of these lights with the soft rounded brush like so and now we're good to go okay now let's add some artistic effects by using this long shutter image I'll put it into the Photoshop and let's rotate it and let's distort it to make the lines a little bit straight like this and let's change the blending mode into screen and put it behind the core and put it right here very cool but firstly let's erase this moon part with a regular mask and let's put it here very cool rotate it a little bit to match the same direction of the road very cool now let's erase these bottom parts here and let's change its color into teal color press ctrl u and press colorize choose this teal color and maybe increase the saturation maybe this color and then press ok and then let's lower the intensity by pressing ctrl l to bring levels and let's play a little bit with the sliders to lower the intensity of this layer so then press ok maybe we can decrease the opacity to let's say 84 and that's good let's duplicate it and put it into uh, the front part but here we want the effect to be very subtle so I will decrease its size and decrease the opacity like this I want the effect to be very subtle maybe we can erase some parts like so very cool now it's time to add some glow effect to the core lights here some red glow effect so we will firstly lighten up the uh, light itself by the exposure from the adjustment let's use exposure and let's increase the exposure like so decrease the offset gamma correction let's decrease it and press ctrl i 
firstly create a clipping mask and press ctrl i to invert the mask and now let's paint uh, with a soft rounded brush like so simple as this you can see here is before here's after very cool now let's create a, a glow by creating a solid color adjustment layer let's make it red and at this time we will not create a clipping mask let's change the blending mode into screen and with the soft rounded brush i will firstly uh, invert the mask and with the soft rounded brush i will just uh, draw some glow effect like so and maybe we can uh, draw some fog effect with this uh, with this fog uh, brush it's like the uh, lights is reflected into the dust in the air and it's giving you this effect with, uh, with this fog brush i will also draw some dust particles like so next we will create some smoke effect uh, around the car this will emphasize the idea that the car is uh, powerful and it's climbing the road fastly and this will add an overall motion into our visual so i will do this by this image i will open it into a new project and i will try to separate the background from this dust effect so let's firstly create a salt color layer put it behind and i will just select this section by the polygonal lasso tool this dust section and then press ctrl j to duplicate it and let's go to the channels the same way we did into the building so i think this red channel has the most contrast so i will duplicate it and let's press ctrl l to try to separate uh, the smoke from the background like so and i think we can increase the highlights a little bit like so and press ok and with the same way i will just erase these parts let's change the blending mode of the brush into overlay and let's erase these bottom parts like so here and here also this is uh, i believe this is the best way to uh, select any transparent uh, thing object if you want to select smoke dust clouds the channels is very good so i will just press ctrl uh, and then go to our main layer and create a mask simple as this maybe the mask needs some adjustment or refinement so i will uh, erase these parts using the soft rounded brush and then I will just press right click convert to smart object and let's drag it into our core here press yes and now I will put it into around the wheel to create the effect that you have seen so I will make it small very small put it right here and press ctrl T using the wrap tool I will just wrap it around the uh, wheel or the tire so i'll press control to create this line which by which we will control the orientation of the dust like so i will lower it around the tire take your time to make it accurate as possible very good uh, now let's create a mask and let's erase some parts with the same fog brush we have used before like so to lower uh, the effect because I, I i believe it's very high very good maybe this section also let's decrease the flow of the brush and let's just erase these parts very cool now it's time to change its color because it looks white and it looks off so i will press ctrl u and press colorize and let's choose this teal color lower the lightness and decrease the saturation like 
this. I want it to be subtle. So this is good. We can also decrease the opacity if we don't like it. But I think it's okay. Now it looks good. So let's just duplicate it. Press uh, Alt, drag the layer to duplicate it. And maybe we can change some, uh, erase some parts uh, because I don't want it to look like it is, it's a duplicate from the first one. Now it's time to add the uh, lights into the car. So I will just bring this car light overlay. Let's flip it verti vertically first and let's rotate it to put it right here. Very cool. I'll tr I'm trying now to match the same orientation of the uh, lights of the car. So we can now put it right here and then we can erase everything using the mask. So I will create a mask and with the soft rounded brush, I will erase this part and also these parts. Like this, make this uh, brush bigger and I think now we're good to go. Very cool. Now let's uh, drag this uh, lens flare also. This will give the lights a uh, better effect. And let's put it here. And let's change the blending mode into the screen. And we can get rid of these white edges by pressing Control L. So I press Control L and darken these parts like so. Then press OK. Very cool. Now let's put it into the car and now it looks way better. So let's drag this lens flare and let's create a duplicate. Press Alt and let's put it behind the car and let's put it here. Maybe we have some blue color here. We need to get rid of this or shift it uh, to teal. So I press Control U to bring the hue uh, saturation and let's shift it like so. Maybe you can erase this by the mask. Very cool. Now it's time to add some glow effects over everything. I will start with creating a new layer and change the blending mode of this layer into screen. Then I will choose this soft edges layer and then I will pick some colors from the sun, for example, and just draw around the sun like so. And maybe we can, yeah, we can decrease the flow like this and draw here and there with the same color. But here the colors have some uh, low saturation. So we need to increase the saturation. So I'll go to window and bring back the colors panel. And whenever I pick any color like so, let's pick a, some orange color. I will just increase the saturation and maybe make it a little bit uh, reddish like so. And then I will draw like here and there. And when I pick like this color, I will bring the saturation to the top and draw some glow like this. Here and here also decrease the flow to make a very subtle effect. Very cool. Maybe here in the sky part, we can choose an orangey reddish color here and maybe here. Very cool. I'm now, as I've already told you, I'm now exaggerating into making the glows because I want it to uh, be clear in your screen. I think here we need to erase it. It's very high. And here also. Very cool. Maybe you can erase it from here. Here is before, here is after. As you can see here, it adds a lot of glow effect. Maybe we can create a red glow here also. The same within the same layer and here also. Very cool. Now I think we can create some shiny reflections into the car. Uh, I will do this by using this effect spark brush. Uh, you can also download it from 
maybe a brush easy, I guess, but it is, it is a spark brush. I'll use it to create this effect, but I will change the blending mode of the layer into screen. And now let's decrease the flow of the brush like so, and let's create some shininess here and there. I'm picking the color from the core itself and I'm just putting some shiny parts because this is a metal one and the core here is the hero. So we need to uh, emphasize or exaggerate into this shininess of the core, of course. Here, maybe here, these edges, but not so much, <laughs> like so. And maybe here. We need to create a clipping mask from here. Press Alt, uh, let's put the layer here and press Alt and between the two layers to create a clipping mask for only the core. Also, we can uh, pick this color and create maybe this color. And no, I think we can, we need to make it smaller and let's just put some tiny shininess on these edges. No, I think we can uh, pick this gray color and put some shininess into the tire or the wheel here also. Very cool. Now let's see, here is before and here is after. It's a little touch, but it brings the uh, viewer eyes into the core. Now it's time to add the typography part. I will just write the main message, which is stick to the road. Like so with this beautiful font, it is Proxima Nova black italic and uh, stick to the road. And then I will try to create some effect. Let's change the color into white and let's put it into a way that emphasize movement. As you can see here, I've put it right here to create some dynamic into the font or the text. Let's select both and control T. Let's rotate it a little bit and put it here. I've left this space for the typography or the text since we started the visual. So you need to put in consideration the if if your visual will have a text, uh, you need to leave some space for the text. That's why I left this uh, area without any details. Maybe we can shift this line a little bit down with the clone stamp tool in a new layer, like so. I'll just shift it a little bit down and I will clone stamp it from the above, like so. Very cool. This way I will give space for the text. Very cool. And now let's put some dummy text. Let's put the text into the group first and let's make it bigger. Here we go. And then let's put some dummy text into a text box. So put some uh, dummy text, make the uh, font regular, adjust it, uh, make it small caps and adjust it to the left. Very cool. Now let's rotate it a little bit. So make it smaller because it's not a big part. It's just a dummy text. And then I think we need to uh, decrease the text a little bit. Yeah, the text is too much, but let's first uh, change the color because it is very contrasty and, and it is taking your eyes. So we need to lower the contrast a little bit by making darkening its color like this. Maybe like this. Very cool, press OK. And now let's decrease this text. Very cool. Maybe we can create a gradient in this uh, typography or in this text part. So I will just create a mask and with the gradient tool, this one, 
I will just draw, make a gradient like this. This is a small effect, but it will decrease the contrast between the text and the background because I don't want the text to be the main focal point. Now it's time to create the final color grading. I'll do this starting from creating a new layer from here and then press Alt, Control, Shift, E to merge all the visible layers and then right click, convert to smart object. Now I will go to the filter and camera row filter. In this filter, I will do all the color grading, the final color grading I need. So let's start with the basics. I will just leave the temperature as is and then go to contrast add a little bit of contrast and then maybe we can decrease the highlights a little bit increase the shadows a little bit maybe yeah make it a little bit brighter and lower down the whiteness and let's uh, increase the vibrance leave the texture and clarity as is and let's go to the curves. I love to add some tone into the mid, the shadows and the highlights. So let's start with the blue yellow curve. So I will add some yellow into the highlights like so and add a little bit of blue into the shadows. Just a tiny touch like so. And maybe we can create an S curve here to increase the contrast Put up like this. Very cool. Now let's go to the color mixer or the details. The details first, I will sharpen the image a little bit and that's it. Let's go to uh, color mixer. I will start with luminance. I will just decrease the greens and the aquas luminance like so. Maybe we can decrease the lightness of the orange. Yeah, I guess so. And that's it for the color mixer. Let's go to the effects, add a little bit of greens and maybe vignetting effect, but not so much. Increase the feather, decrease the roundness, and we're good to go, I guess. Maybe go to the calibration. Let's try to change the hue here. Maybe add a little bit of saturation, and we are good to go. Press OK. As you can see here, here is before, and here is the after. Before and after, and that's it. Maybe we can reframe the visual a little bit. I, I think we need to make it bigger like so. And then press enter and there you go. Whew. All right, guys, that was intense. I hope that you benefited from the class and most importantly, enjoyed it. And if you want full length classes like this, you will find the link into the description along with the stock images and the PSD file. So that was it for today. See you in the next tutorials. Peace.